Hey, welcome to another exciting show. On the show today, I'm going to show you how to do double digit subtraction with regrouping. Stay tuned. Hey, thanks again for joining us. Let's get right into it. I'm going to show you how to do double digit subtraction with regrouping. All right, let's start out with a number real quickly. And that number would be 35 minus 21. Okay, we have 35 minus 21. What I do first is I always will subtract the ones. Second step is subtract the tens. And then if I need to regroup, if needed. Okay, so first of all, I take a look at my ones. This is the ones column right here. And this is the tens column. I take a look at the top number right here, and if that number is bigger, I do not have to regroup. And you can see that five is bigger than one, okay? So what I do right now is I can even cover this up, and I can do five minus one, okay? Five minus one is four. And please try to keep it in line. Don't put the four over here or over there. Then I go over to the tens place. Three minus two, and if you get confused again, you can put a paper right here in the way and then just do three minus two, which is one. So you can see I didn't have to do any regrouping because this top number was bigger than this number, okay? All right, let's do another one here. 46 minus 28. All right, what I do first is I kind of cover this up and I take a look here. Six minus eight. So some of you might right away just say two, but no. Six, that means that you have that number. You might have six cars, six blocks, or six dollars, whatever, six of something. And the other person wants to take eight away. And you can't do that because you only have six. Another way to do it, and I have this on another video, is that you think of yourself as out in the rain and you want a big hat to cover all the rain falling down. And it's, this number right here is too small, so you're probably gonna get your hat, a head all wet. So you want this top number here bigger. So that means you have to go next door and borrow some from the tens. So all you have to do is put a line through here and make sure you always put that line there first and then take one away from four. Four minus one, four minus one, three. Okay, and later on you're not going to have to say 5 minus 1 or 6 minus 1. You're just automatically going to know it's just a difference of 1. All right, so you're actually taking a 10 from here and you're putting it over there. It's like 10 plus 6 is 16. So you want to take a line and cross this out and you're going to put 16 here. Okay, so um, now I have this number is bigger now that I can subtract there. 16 minus eight, pretty easy, eight. And if you ever wanna to check to see if that's right, it's eight plus eight is 16, okay? Now I did that part, now let's go ahead and subtract the tens. Three minus two, one. Okay, pretty easy cheesy. Let's do another one. All right, our next number is 53 minus 19. All right, first of all, you wanna take a look at the ones. You want, always wanna subtract the ones first. Can I do it? You wanna always ask yourself, can I do it? Right now, that top number is too small. We need to make that bigger. Three minus nine, that means I have three. I got three of something, and somebody else wants to take nine away. You can't do it. Three minus nine, okay? Can't do it, I need to make that num number bigger. So I need to come over next door and borrow one from the tens place. So five minus one is four. Add a 10 to the three, or you can even just put a one and a three right here. Put a line through that three right there. So now I have 13 minus nine. 13 minus nine is, you're right, four. Four minus one, Yep, somebody over there said it. <laughs> All right, three. Very good, 34. 53 minus 19 is 34. Okay, 
guys are doing great today. It's a beautiful day. I just love mathematics. The thing about mathematics is there's all different ways on how to find the answer. And knowing how to find the answer is more important than just the answer because you can visualize it. And that's really important to when you get into mathematics uh, later on in school. Okay, I'm going to put uh, uh, four different problems here for you to solve. Okay, I'm going to put the number 39 minus... 16, 41, minus 22, 46, minus 25, and 65, minus 28. Now I would like you to pause the video right here, write this down in a journal or your, on a piece of paper, try to solve these problems right now, and then come right back. All right, thanks a lot. Okay, let's take a look at this. First thing we wanna do, our first rule, is you always subtract the ones. So I take a look at the ones, and I see, I would look to see if that top number is bigger or smaller. Right away I see that that top number is bigger than the bottom number, so I don't need to regroup. So I just simply say nine minus six is three. Three minus one is two. All right, let's go to the next problem right here. First of all, subtract the ones, see if I need to regroup. That number right there is smaller than the bottom number. Need to make it bigger. Let's go over here. Borrow some from the next in the tens over here. This will be a three. I'm taking a 10 from the four, or one from the four over here. Now, don't put a one and a zero, all right? This is a very common mistake. No, you're still borrowing a one here. It's like 10 plus one, okay? Very common mistake. 11 minus two, all right, nine. Remember, two has two dots, so I go nine, 10, 11. Always checking myself. Three minus two, one. Guys are Moving and grooving, you're awesome. All right, let's go to the next number here. Is that number bigger or smaller? They're right, it is bigger. So six minus five is one, okay? Four minus two, two. All right, dos, uno dos. Okay, our last problem here. Can you, do, can you remember the rules? What's the first rule that you're supposed to do? You're right, subtract the ones and you take a look to see if you can subtract the ones. Is that top number bigger or smaller? Everybody, raise your hand for that number is bigger. Okay, everybody raise your hand if that number is smaller. I think I heard more people say it was smaller. You're right, I need to make that number bigger. All right, it's, it's like special powers. Whoosh, take some away from this guy right here in the tens place. Take one 10 away there, this will make this five. Take that one over here, that 10 plus five. Gotta make this 15. All right, practice makes perfect. Keep on practicing on how you do that. 15 minus eight. Ooh, that's a little bit difficult on, that's a big number on how to do it. You can always go like this. Eight, say eight. This is where we're taking a look at this number here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. How many fingers do I have? Oh, yes, seven fingers, seven fingers. You're right. All right, five minus two. Got five, I take away two. Bam, how many do I have? Three, three fingers. Oh, you're doing so good, yes, I love it, I love it. Give yourself a pat on the back. Hey, you just graduated from how to learn how to do double digit subtraction with regrouping. This is one of the toughest subjects in second grade. That's what I also teach. All right, hey, check out our other videos. We have a lot of cool videos on here, art videos, educational videos, you name it, we got it. It's family friendly, it's great for the classroom, great for home. Watch it there with your cat, your, eat some popcorn, have a fun time, and like always, have a fun day. Adios, bye-bye.